This is uh, the first installment of the Extra West Cultural Series in our new venue here at the Café du Soleil. Uh, so I'd like to thank uh, the staff and management, so first of all, of Café du Soleil for having us here. Uh, Ashley, and uh, a big round of applause for uh, Radar, who's doing our sound tonight. And just out of curiosity, how many people are uh, here uh, for the event tonight? Just that came for the event. Perfect. So how did you get involved in the film? Well, it was an inter interesting story. I actually originally auditioned for um, another film that he was doing and just by doing that audition he got me to do this film. So that's how I got into it. How was it a change from your ordinary day self to the character you played in the movie? Um, well, it's a lot different. <laughs> um, the character was very interesting. Um, I definitely could relate to some aspects, I mean, in the sense of maybe not necessarily, you know, her cat possession, but um, feeling lonely, you know, I think sometimes, you know, everyone has had that lonely in their lives and or the desperate need of wanting someone and I think that was my character in the sense of liking someone and them not liking you back and you know I think someone can relate to that in that kind of sense. I had the chance to burn my whole down and start my <laughs> Was there any challenge in anything that you have you did in the movie? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, just because I can relate to that part of, like I said, of just being needed and having friends and liking someone. So I don't think I really had any challenges. No, it was fun, and the crew was fun, and it was just a good time. So and everyone made it easy and relaxing. So it wasn't challenging. Well, just I've got a web series named Starting with Take It Like a Man. Oh, okay. I mean, we showed that the pilot for yeah. that. Yeah, I'll keep it right um, Looks like most of the cast is coming back and the crew to shoot it. We'll do three seasons and then we'll see. The internet and then we'll head to TV. Hopefully, we'll, I don't know. It's strange little dark comedy. It's not reality. It's monsters living with human beings. Would you ever do it again? I would. would. You would? Yeah. So I hear they're doing another, they're doing a season or a series of this. Uh, 
Do you think you'll be involved in it this time? I'd like to be, if they'd have me. <laughs> if they want my character back or if they want to continue with the character, I'd like to be involved. I think that'd be a great project. And, you know, it's something different, directed ter towards a certain, you know, type of audience. But um, I think... It's just a crazy kind of wacky, you know, and if you like crazy and wacky things, then I think you'd like it. <laughs> That's what I think. And if you don't, then you're not going to like it. So I don't know. <laughs> like some kind of personal travels through Southeast Asia, so a lot of it's kind of reflects. It's about a couple that is having a breakup. And it's their breakup. Uh, the film is done in one shot. And, uh, When they advertised in the newspaper about this event, the picture they had was of me like a year ago. I did not have any of this facial hair. Mm -hmm. So really essentially people show up. A lot of people haven't even seen me though. Now that they see me some for the first time, because uh, some people know my name, but they've never seen me. Um, after you know so long of working in Vancouver as filmmaker and actor, um, as an actor more when I first got to Vancouver, but now as a filmmaker, people know my name more, but not my face. Welcome to Deep CNN. If you're here, you can see a wonderful film starting at $5.99. Call now and receive your free copy for only seven easy payments of $99.99.99. Filmmaker Attila Kalai. This is a by donation night. Uh, throw in a loony, a toony, a quarter, or a five, or a ten, or a twenty dollar bill. That'd be very uh, much appreciated because it's all going to the artist tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> he has uh, done many things, including uh, teaching in New Brunswick and Alberta, and became interested in film in high school. And um, he's also done some acting. Has appeared in. Um, Woody Allen's Shadows and Fog, oddly enough, and uh, also some Shakespeare, uh, Romeo and Juliet, and Macbeth and King Lear. Uh, before we uh, do the uh, show the uh, things, uh, he's just going to uh, introduce them. So please welcome to the stage Attila Kalai. All right, that one works. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show three films then for the next four hours. So we'll be enjoying these next, no, 30 minutes, and that's it. They're short films. <laughs> Uh, the first one is called Breaking News. I co-directed that with my business partner, Michael Gaultier. Nous interrompons notre programme afin de vous informer d'un fait très alarmant. En effet, nous venons d'apprendre qu'un problème sanitaire assez contagieux se propage actuellement. Il est demandé et recommandé à tous les citoyens de bien vouloir se rendre dans un hôpital, une clinique, le plus rapidement possible, afin de se faire prodiguer les soins médicaux. Just because you don't understand doesn't make it less important. Homosexuality is not a disease, but the hatred is. I was frustrated in the beginning a little bit when the film played, no one was supposed to. That's okay, technical error. So I hear you've been working in Canada for the last 11 years on your film career. Yes. How's that going for you? Ah, oh, it's going. It's going? <laughs> it's going, it's good, it's been good, it's been uh, ever-changing. I'm not really sure what else we'll actually see in the summer, but maybe next Christmas my feature will come out. But, uh... Oh yeah, Merry Christmas. I'm not sure. But if anything, I mean, I don't know, something could just pop up all of a sudden. Well, I started about nine years ago, and I made my first film, uh, Strange Days, and, you know, in the class I took there, we had to create a production name. Everyone in the class had to. Uh, I did it off the initials of my name, and I've been using that ever since um, <clears throat> nine years strong, and it's, it's, you know, it's pretty good. You know, I figure it's the easiest way, and... Um, Things have picked up, you know. I actually got some people that are. I'm actually, you know, getting some producers interested in getting some money and such. So it's uh, slowly getting there.
suffered and I had no one to turn to. It makes me cry. It was good. I'm not quite sure of the response. I was happy though that the new versions of my films were shown. Because these are all brand new cuts. The original memory is way different. I spent five months coloring this one. Post and doing it the way it should have been done originally. I didn't have the technique then. So that was, uh, it was good. I was happy that I got to show them. Especially happy with the result of memory. I didn't seem to like that one. Why did you choose sexuality as a subject in your film? Well, uh, breaking news, it was just a contest we saw an ad for, so we decided to put it together. Uh, as for memory, that was again, like the third film I did, and the high school I went to was a uh, very homophobic, racist high school at the time. Uh, teachers were abused physically and mentally in my school. No one did anything to stop it. Principal had no power. Uh, no one stood up. I knew most of the kids. I used to be a counselor at my high school. Um, there was a course there. A lot of the kids were gay, and we had GSA and stuff, but it didn't matter. Nobody stood up. So I said, all right, I'll make a film. It was the first action to get something going that was um, good for that community. It really needed something. People were being listened to. This is one thing I did, and uh, successfully it, uh, success, what am I saying? Successfully, gave me a lot of dates. Uh, successfully, uh, it struck a good nerve and a positive response, surprisingly, in the school. And that's why I did it because of what was happening in my school at the time. I left behind acting to go for a job I got in Montreal. After working with the kids for a year, and this is kindergarten through seven, um, they reminded me why I became an actor, why I did it. I totally forgotten, and after I did that, I thought, okay, you know what, I'm going back. I forgot how much fun it was. It's a game, it's fun. I took it too seriously. So, as soon as I finished teaching, I said, all right, I'm gone at the end of the year. And I came back to Vancouver, picked it right up. Rolling in. So after, after being two years apart and I haven't seen you, I knew the reunion would have a woman in the middle. <laughs> Our first sandwich. We were roommates for two years and we never got to do it because Magalie's frigid. <laughs> <laughs> Which might be true, eh? So I haven't um, seen you for a couple of years. Oh, what does and, it say? Uh, and I'm, I'm so impressed at everything you've uh -oh. been up to. Okay, battery uh -oh. is gonna uh -oh. be. Battery, battery is dying. Oh, I got one for you. Up oh. your ass. <laughs> Um, I think I should probably hurry up. How about that? No more questions? Anything? We're good? I'm single? Give me a call. <laughs> um, I'll be shaving this in the summer. I'm just you know, auditioning for the role of rapist and such, so I said. My career is horrid. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap it up now. Okay, you can talk to me after if you want, and uh, make fun of me in private if you do embarrass to say it out loud. Thanks. Thanks, Attila. Uh, let's have a big round of applause for Attila. I've got about 15 films in the go. Um, also our shorts, features, some comedy, some drama. I don't want to break the career now because when I left um, four years ago from Vancouver, my career picked up. And at that time, as an actor, I was being recognized. I uh, was stopped on the street every once in a while and such, so, but when I left, you know, you break a contact, it's, it's tough to get it back. It was difficult when I got back here, until a who? You know, I mean, I, I was well known as a child actor, but now it's... So building it up, I want to travel, but it could definitely break my career. To tell you I love you Thank you.